What's going on guys? Today we are talking about my travel essentials. Now, personally myself, I travel quite often. Over the past four years, I've averaged at least 50 plus flights a year. So no matter if I'm hitting the road or I'm flying, these are the tech items in my travel essentials that I make sure I have with me to make the most out of my time traveling. Now, everything that I talk about in today's video will be linked down in the description below. And while you're down there, be sure to drop this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. With all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the first item that is on my travel essentials list. Now, it wouldn't be a travel video if I didn't start out by talking about the luggage in the bags first. This right here is the Away Larger Carry-On. Now, luggage isn't the most fun thing in the world to purchase, but having nice quality stuff actually does go a long way. Now, Away isn't the cheapest brand out there, but it does come with a lifetime warranty, which has already paid off for me. After having it for a couple years, when the zippers broke off and they actually replaced the entire thing for me. So I use Away suitcases for my carry-on, for my larger luggage that I check. They make some really high quality stuff. You can fit a lot of things with you. They roll really easy. At the end of the day, it's luggage, but the away ones have been a great investment for me. Next up, let's talk about the actual bag that I carry with me. And this right here is the DB Journey 26 liter backpack. Now I actually have quite a few bags from DB, but what I like about this bag in particular is the fact that you can put a camera insert in it if you wanna convert this into a camera bag, or you can take that insert out and just use it as a normal backpack. This comes in handy, especially if you are traveling, because if I'm traveling, traveling, I can either use it just as a normal backpack, or if I actually need a camera bag, I can pack it as a camera bag with that insert. And then once I get to my destination, I can take that camera insert out and then use it daily as just a normal backpack or a camera bag, whichever I need. It looks good, it has a ton of storage and different compartments in it. And I like the fact that you can use it however you want. It's really nice. Now let's dive into the first piece of tech in my bag, which I do not leave the house without. And you're gonna see it right back there, is my M3 Max MacBook Pro. And it is in that space black colorway, which looks so good. Now I have an entire video dedicated to that MacBook on this channel. So feel free to go check that out, but I'll try to keep this one short and sweet. I am a heavy Apple user. I've been using MacBooks since like 2008. I do anything and everything creative on my MacBook Pro. I personally love this 16 inch size because when I'm traveling and I actually get to my destination, I like being able to have that screen real estate to get what I need done, whether it be photo editing, video editing, just doing different business stuff. And that M3 Max chip is unbelievably powerful. I actually got 128 gigs of RAM in that thing too. Truly that thing is my main workhorse for pretty much everything I do. And I think I would genuinely be lost without my MacBook. So that thing is definitely coming in my bag. Now it would not be a tech video from me without talking about AirPods. And these are the AirPods Pro 2. No matter if I'm listening to music, podcasts, hopping on a call with someone, or even editing videos, I would say about 80% of the time when traveling, I'm using these. They sound great. I can throw them in my front pocket or the top of my backpack. They don't take up much room and they also have noise cancellation, which is really good. So if you need it on an airplane for those crying babies or maybe just the airport or wherever you are is really loud. Sometimes it's nice just having that noise cancellation and these things just never leave my side. Now, next up on the list, sometimes with travel, you do want an over the ear pair of headphones, which for me have been the Beats Studio Pro and this is the Stussy Collab. Now I love these headphones. Phones. I've talked about them in some videos in the past. I actually have a couple pairs of them, but as far as over the ear headphones go, this is by far my favorite pick. I like this over the Sony XM5s. I like these over the AirPods Max as well. I like the fact that they can fold up. They sound absolutely amazing. The noise cancellation is really good as well. And the Stussy collab just makes these look even that much better. For some reason, Beats catch a lot of hate, but I'm telling you the Beats Studio Pro actually sound very, very good. And they come in at a pretty decent price as well especially for good over the ear headphones that have great noise cancellation. Don't sleep on these. The AirPods kind of are just the more general use ones for me. The over the ear ones I really use to more kind of lock in or completely block out the noise of everything going on. So a lot of times I kind of have both with me, but over the ear headphones, especially if you're trying to sleep on a flight, is a must have. So next up we have the Fujifilm X106. And this Fuji is my new daily camera for taking photos. Now I also have some content on this channel talking about this camera if you want to hear my more in-depth thoughts. But over the past couple years, I've loved having a camera that I can take with me that's small, compact, takes great images, and I can kind of just document whatever I'm doing. I love my Sony cameras when I'm filming myself, but if I'm snapping just some quick photos to throw up on IG stories or wherever, the Fuji is pretty unbeatable and it's so popular for good reason. And I got that brand new Polar Pro short sash filter on it. I mean, this camera looks sick too. Like, come on now. It's a nice little accessory to have with you. Last week, I 
was actually in London and I took this with me. And sometimes you take it out with you, you don't snap any photos. And then other times you have a little impromptu photo shoot in the middle of downtown London. And this was the perfect camera to have with me. And I'm stoked that I had it. And I'm making a point to take more photos this year and try to document more pieces of my life. Which you guys should follow me on IG if you aren't yet too. I post a ton of photos over there. Now, no, this is not a camera bag video, but of course there's gonna be a little bit of a crossover because I am a content creator, I'm a photographer. Most of the time I'm capturing my travels at least in some capacity. So if you guys do want a full what's in my camera bag video, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, if I'm not just taking photos and I wanna vlog, I'm gonna be taking this camera with me, which is a Sony ZV-E1. A few months back, I actually went out to LA to hang out with some of my homies and I went to a high ground event at the 100 Thieves compound. And that was a perfect scenario where I wanted this type of camera with me. This is like my small vlogging camera setup, it has a great internal microphone, it has a beautiful 4K image out of it. Right now I have a 20 millimeter lens on top. The internal microphone's even good if I wanna just rock with the internal one. This is a nice, compact, small vlog setup. So I don't always have this in my bag, but if I am going on a trip where I know I wanna film some stuff, this is usually the one I'm reaching for, and I absolutely love this camera. Yo guys, so real quick, first of all, this video is not sponsored whatsoever, but if you guys are looking for a way to support me in this channel, first of all, make sure you guys are subscribed. And second of all, I have a ton of digital products available on my store. I have my S-Log3 LUT, which is how I color grade all my Sony footage, Lightroom presets, my overlay pack, basically all the secret sauce to all my content. First link down in the description. The support goes a long way for me in this channel. I appreciate you guys. Now back to the video. The last thing you want to have happen, especially when you're traveling, is to either have your phone die or you realize you put on a pair of headphones and those are dead. So you got to make sure your stuff's charged up. So I personally like to have a couple different types of power banks with me. Now the first one is this huge power bank by Anchor. Now this is one I'm definitely keeping in my bag and I love this thing because it can hold so much power. It can charge my phone multiple times, an iPad, your headphones, your camera batteries, even give your MacBook a little bit of juice as well. And I like this one because it actually gives you um, a visual status of how much battery you have left on this thing. So I like to have like a huge power bank with me, but then also I like to have one that attaches straight to your phone as well. And that brings me to the next item on my list, which is the Charge Ice Mag. Now I always like to travel with a MagSafe battery pack as well, because you can obviously magnetically just connect it to the back of your phone and you don't have to have a cord with you. You can just put it straight onto your iPhone. It starts charging it up right away. And I like this one because it's 10,000 milliamps. So it gives your phone a bunch of power. And this one's really unique. It kind of has like an open PC look at the bottom. Bottom. So this one usually sits at the top of my bag for quick access because we all know travel days can be long. You wanna make sure your phone is good to go. Now real quick, let's talk about a few items that are non-tech related that are still absolutely essential for whenever I'm traveling and you gotta make sure they're in your bag. Now next up, you gotta have some hand sanitizer. Now I'm not really a huge germ freak to be honest, but I gotta say people are gross. And then whatever that level of people being gross is, people at airports are like next level gross. I don't know what it is about airports, but people are doing some weird stuff. People are taking shots at 8 a.m. People are walking around barefoot. I mean, it is wild out there. So if I'm gonna be eating or doing honestly whatever, I like to just have some hand sanitizer nearby because you really never know what you're gonna see. Now, next up is a crossbody bag, and this one is from Ghost. Last few trips, I've been rocking one of these and I've actually learned to love it. Especially if you're just leaving your hotel for a few hours, you don't wanna have to have your big bag with you, or maybe you're off to dinner or wherever. I actually just use that bag last week in London. It was nice just being able to have a secure spot on me that was just holding a bunch of my stuff. Keys, AirPods, passport, wallet. This one's actually the perfect size. I can actually throw my Fuji inside of it as well. So if I want to take some stuff out with me and I don't want my huge backpack, it's nice to have kind of like that in-between bag for when I'm walking out the door. Now this next one is maybe the most important piece on this list and that is an oversized hoodie. If you know, you know. First of all, you want to be comfortable when you're traveling. Second of all, AirPods planes usually get really cold, especially at night. If you're trying to relax or you're trying to kind of zone out a bit, I like to have my hood up, those over the ear headphones on. I feel like I'm in my own little world for that flight. But chances are, if you travel often, you already know this. And if you don't, thank me later. I'm telling you, you gotta have one of these with you. Now going back to the tech world, next up on my list is a Samsung SSD. Now these right here are the Samsung T7s. I have probably four or five of these just in my desk right now. But especially again, when you're traveling and you're doing any sort of content work or really just any type of work, it's nice having an external drive with you that you can back stuff up 
on. I myself edit some videos off of my SSDs or I like to back up photos, transfer files, whatever I need to do. I like these SSDs because they're small, compact, and they have really fast transfer speeds as well. And truthfully, these days you can pick these up for a pretty fair price as well. So wherever I am, even at home or on the road, I always have a couple of these SSDs nearby. Next up is my Marshall Bluetooth speaker. Now Bluetooth speakers obviously aren't a new thing, but no matter if you're trying to listen to music in your hotel room, maybe you're hanging out in the Airbnb, having some drinks with friends, or if you're coming from my world, maybe you're on a photo shoot and realize that no one else has a speaker to play music. This thing can save the day and always kind of increases the vibes. I personally like this one a lot because one, it sounds great, two, it's pretty small, and three, it looks good too. Like I feel like this should be on stage at a metal show. I think this thing might even be waterproof as well. And as long as there's room in my bag, this thing is going in it 100%. Oh, what are you doing Mocha? Hey, I feel like every time I record here, Mocha comes and says, hey, what are you doing? It's 5.30, she's telling me it's dinner time. I'll be right there, I swear, I'm almost done. It would not be a video, especially a travel video, without talking about what pair of kicks I'm taking with me. So for my shoes, I'm going with the Jordan Ama Manier collab, the Airship PE. And these are the green stone colorway. Now I'm half joking, but also half serious. I'm obviously a huge sneaker person, and I feel like it is kind of part of the travel culture to have a nice fit on, especially if you're in the creative space. Obviously you usually are documenting your travel, either with photos, vlogging, video of some sort. So for me, having a pair of shoes that you feel confident in and also comfortable in is absolutely critical. I know some of you guys feel me and you agree. These literally came in this morning. You kind of got this yellowing off-white color to give a vintage look. This beautiful green up top and around on the swoosh. This pair is fire. And these are the ones I'm throwing in my bag right now. Well, I guess I'm having it on my foot while I'm carrying my bag. You know what I'm saying, all right? These are the shoes I'm rocking. So guys, these are my travel essentials. And like I said, obviously sometimes things are gonna switch up a little bit here or there depending on what my trip entails. But generally speaking, these are the essentials that I have with me to make sure I'm having a good, enjoyable time while traveling and I'm getting the most out of it. But I'm curious to hear from you guys. So let me know down in the comments below what your number one item is when you are traveling. Traveling. What's the item that you have to have on you? And I'm curious if we have any crossover there. You guys, that is gonna be it for me in today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We are on the road to 100K. Feel free to check out some other videos on my channel. Chances are, if you liked this one and you stayed this long, you like one of those as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.